In a crowded field of Windows 8.1 hybrids, Microsoft Surface Pro 3 is definitely one of the best around. But starting at $799, the 12.5-inch Surface Pro 3 is pretty expensive, especially considering it practically requires an $129 keyboard to go along with it. Now the engineering and design of the Pro 3 is trickled down to a more mainstream-friendly model though, and that's called the Surface 3. Like Lenovo's Yoga line, the Surface 3 is basically a product that keeps a lot of the features and ideas from the more expensive Pro model, while cutting other features and specs to hit the lower price. The Surface 3 starts at just $499, and presents itself as very similar to the Surface Pro 3, with just a few budget-minded tweaks. For one thing, the Surface 3 is a fair bit smaller than the Surface Pro 3. It is a 10.8-inch display with a 1920x1280 resolution, and that is a fair bit smaller than the 12.5-inch Pro 3. Both screens do a 3 to aspect ratio though, which makes them feel more like writing on a pad of paper when held in portrait mode. Now like with every previous Surface, you will definitely want the optional keyboard cover to come with the Surface 3. With large backlit keys packed into every slim cover and connecting via a magnetic hinge, it's definitely a very clever feat of engineering, but it is fair bit expensive as well, costing $129. Now when you're adding $129 onto the $500 starting price, that definitely increases the price by a fair bit of a margin, and that is a pretty big deal. With that said, one of the coolest things about Microsoft's new Surface 3 is that it does run full Windows 8.1, as opposed to the stripped-down Windows RT software that previous tablets ran on. That allows the Surface 3 to have a lot more functionality than its predecessors, and it also takes away some of the differences between the Surface 3 and the Surface Pro 3. Also, don't worry, it should be able to upgrade to Windows 10 immediately when that software comes out, so you won't be getting left behind or anything. Overall, the Surface 3 does seem like a very good value tablet for its price. At $500, it's basically a competitor to the iPad, but it offers a lot more functionality than Apple's tablet can deliver. It should be available to buy May 5th in the US, Australia, and the UK, and I'm definitely interested to see how many units Microsoft will sell when this tablet comes out. But give me your opinions on the Surface 3 in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.